Do you want to increase your sales and profits by double digits next year? Dick Olick and his staff at Consultants and Cleaning, LLC, will provide both the telephone and on-site assistance to help you do just that. There's no long-term agreement required from this industry pro with nearly 50 years of making it happen. Dick has a proven track record and is ready to help you. Visit his website at www.consultantsandcleaning.com or call him at 573-873-9500. Both you and Dick will be glad you did. Welcome to Tripodcast, episode 274. It's Monday, February 11th. And today we have a very special guest on our Tripodcast, Gene Hansen from thejanitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. Gene and Dick are going to talk about social media and how you can use that to your advantage. Let's listen in. Welcome to our Tripodcast today. We're pleased to have with us a special guest. Jean Hansen is joining us. Jean, along with her husband, founded and co-owned the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. Welcome, Jean. I did. I, did. I got close there. You did. I got close. <laughs> so I said janitorialstore.com. So tell us a little bit about the janitorial store. Okay, well we're not a janitorial store, we're an online community for building service contractors. We help people that want to get into the industry and want to grow their business with, we provide them with all sorts of resources and educational opportunities. Okay, all right. So now, one of the reasons I wanted you to join us today, in addition to finding out about the janitorial store, was, you know, I'm kind of from the old school. And I keep hearing all this about social media and marketing, social marketing, and all this stuff. So can you kind of help me and help our audience? Uh, what does all that mean, anyway? Well, social media, it's, it's uh, growing. And if you're not on social media sites like LinkedIn and Facebook, and those are going to be the two sites I talk about most because okay. they're the most popular okay. with the business community. Um, I've even heard of them. I know, you're even on Facebook and LinkedIn. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> so, But if you're not doing it, you need to be. And you need to do it within the next year or two at the very latest, or you're going to be way behind everyone else. So let me just quickly start by talking a little bit about LinkedIn. And social media in general, first of all, the thing you need to really remember all the time is that this is not a place to sell. This, in my opinion, it's a place to extend your networking opportunities in your local community. When you're out there networking at chamber of commerce events or you know whatever kind of networking groups you belong to, whether it could even be volunteer organizations, when you're talking with people, find out if they're on social media sites. Are you on LinkedIn? Are you on Facebook? And then once you leave that, you friend them right away. And you start a conversation outside of the networking event because this is going to really expedite your networking efforts. Excellent. And that's really what it's all about. It, you don't go friend them and then start trying to sell them your service. It's not going to work. I mean, if you ever have been in their position and you someone has friended you and all of a sudden they're trying to sell you whatever they do and you're really not interested, you know, that's just not the right way to go about it. I can just interrupt you. I had two people friend me in the last week and immediately I got an email saying, uh, could I call on you to sell you floor finish with oh, one of them? And the other one was selling dusters, you know, and it just turned me off <laughs> yeah. because I just barely knew them. And I, you don't even do that anymore. I don't even consultant. do that anymore. I'm you a know? consultant. <laughs> so, you know, I, I know, I mean, I just had to, wanted to interject that because it just, it really, frankly, it upset me. Yeah. You know, I was, I was friending, but this wasn't a friend anymore. Right. You know, because they immediately turned on, sell something. Right. So the, the problem that people run into then is, okay, a friend of them, now what? You know, what? What do I do? What do I say? How do I engage them? Because it's all about engaging people 
and so that they get to know who you are, you can get to know who they are, and eventually that transaction just might happen. Or they're gonna know people that they're gonna refer you to. They're gonna say, gosh, I know this person. And I'm just thinking of one building service contractor in particular that has done such a phenomenal job with Facebook. And I just attended a seminar from a gentleman who was talking all about LinkedIn and said, don't bother with Facebook. It's all about LinkedIn because you're selling business to business, mm -hmm. right? Let me tell you, this guy in one month had like three opportunities through Facebook. Now, it didn't happen overnight. It, mm. He got on Facebook about three years ago. The first two years was really kind of figuring it out. He eventually built a business page and he had a personal page. And now he he's connected. He does a lot of networking in his community. He belongs to the chamber. He does a lot of volunteering things. He's always golf, at golfing events in the community, doing charity oh. events, and he takes pictures. And the people he connects with are on the Facebook, and so the, he tags them, and it shows up on their wall. And pretty soon they're having a conversation about how much fun they had at the golf tournament. And so those are the kinds of things that he's doing on his business page. Well, then he has a personal page. And he's connecting with these people on both. And on his personal page, he's posting pictures of his family and the vacations that they're taking. And, and now, all of a sudden, they're seeing him not just as a business person, but as a family man. And they, they have told him. They really respect him because he is such a family man and because he does participate so much in the community. So, Well, you, you made one, one statement there that, you know, you said, well, it doesn't happen overnight. You know, it took a couple of years for this gentleman. But what doesn't? Yeah. You know, I mean, all, uh, you know, as I go back to the old traditional ways of getting your foot in the door, that takes time too. Mm -hmm. You know, so this isn't, it isn't an unusual length of time is what right. I'm saying. Right, exactly. You know, so, so it's another opportunity. Yeah. And he just gave me an example of um, a gentleman. He had actually had the opportunity to give him a proposal for cleaning, and he didn't get the account. But he had connected with the guy on Facebook, and a couple of years later, it happened to be a car, car dealership, he went in there and he saw a coupon that they had on their Facebook page for oil change. So he took advantage, went in, he happened to run into the guy, and the guy said, you know what, I've been following you on Facebook, and you know what, I really admire what you're doing. And guess what? Mm, got the account, didn't it, it? Yeah, this was like three years later or whatever, a few years later, and he got the account. Mm -hmm. And he told them it was because of Facebook. So. <laughs> but, you know, it's hard for some of us old timers to figure this out. You know, we're still used to, you know, buy something, you know, yeah. and, and go for it. But that, um, that, that is a, you know, that, you know, you're right, I'm on it. I mean, I, I'm still trying to figure it all out. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's no different than what we did 15, 20 years ago when we were saying you got to be out there networking in your community if you really want to and, and building relationships. It's all about building relationships. It's just another way. It's just that. another way to do it, and it's a way to expedite it with what you're already doing. So, genius has been great. I want to thank you for taking the time and sharing with me and sharing with our audience. I know there's a there's some takeaways there. I think our people that are viewing this are going to have something to think about. And I want to thank you again. Yeah. And I want to thank you for watching us. And if, if you have any questions for me, <laughs> okay. I'm on Facebook at facebook.com slash the janitorial store. <laughs> You've been listening to a Tri Podcast, short video and audio presentation about important topics in our industry. If you're a current subscriber to the Tri Podcast, thank you. We appreciate it. If you're not yet a subscriber, please check it out. It's free and it's easy. Come to www.tripodcast.com, enter your email address on the right-hand column, and click subscribe. We'll send you out a new Tri Podcast every Monday morning.